Hi, welcome to my third part tutorial on how to set up profit trailer to use on SAR indicators. This uh, video was filmed one day before the big dip, so bear in mind that I was actually liquidated the day after. So uh, the strategies I used here were valid for two months. I had really good profits for two months. I did not take profits into spot, which is something I really recommend everyone to do. However, I will just leave it as it is so you can see the results I was getting at the time. As always, try to use test mode bots with test mode balance so that you can try out different strategies and uh, good luck in the future. Click SAR 0.6% take profit bot. This is the result. You can see I have a balance of $6,184. My value is 6,321. This means that my current positions are using a margin of the difference between these two, which means about $200 difference or so $150 in margin. Because I have 20 positions open, this is totally healthy. And these 20 positions are down by $26. So that's only 0.98%, that's nothing. Here you can see how much money it has been generating every day it's pretty much five four times more than I was getting in three commas also it has bigger risk of course because I'm using higher initial cost than I was using in three commas but it also has a lower risk because I'm only DCAing when I when I see a reversal when I see a good place to buy according to my configs as you can see here signals 43,000 signals to buy you can see here the coins storage ADA dot sell dot again tum ada all of these are are firing on my trading view and then if this fires and you can see here if sushi f is having these two as green so if psar fires a buy order for sushi and ema spread is green which is it is at this moment then it will buy it as per the formula here you can see how the chart is performing you can see it's actually going down a little bit this is pure trading view you cannot put here um, other indicators because this is this is not necessarily your account so you cannot I don't know how to put PSAR here but it doesn't really matter and when you have you go to positions you can see my positions at the moment all of them of course are red are negative and this number here is how many times it has DC8 so for example my dog position has DC8 already two times and it's at neg 5% this is neg 5% including the leverage so actually the real percentage is neg 1.0.15 uh, this is nothing right so I will only DCA again when the profit percentage goes to neg 1.7 and low BB goes to 10 or below so none of this is true so you will not buy you will not DCA this at the moment and to sell it depends on my gain so gain has to be above 0 0.6 and if it crosses 0 0.6 if it's above 0 0.6 it starts trailing and then it sells if it there is an opportunity to sell it of course this is not negative this is negative so it will not sell at the moment you can see this one a the position is now in green you can see here how many dollars it's worth so as you can see three percent it's going up I can see here my strategy to sell it is at 0 0.6 currently it's at 0 0.14 so I have to wait a little bit more although I'm already in the green it's not going to sell at the moment and it goes up 0 0.28 0 0.34 maybe we'll sell we see a sell in real time maybe or not if it goes down now again it might go negative and then we have to wait 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 it looks like it's pumping a little bit so this should be enough to get into profit so whenever a position is bought you have here a log saying oh sorry have a log saying for example I bought EOS initial when PSAR fired EMA spread is green so I bought this coin and you have here DCA I DCA link because the profit was neg 0.66 as you can see I bought this lower than if I was using simply three commas so I'm in a better position already 
and low BB was 4.33, which means the Bollinger Band was in the lower part. So I was already I'm in a better position than if I was using three commas. The formula was A and B. I'm not using C, I'm not using D. So I'm not using PSAR to fire a buy, I'm not using liquidation price to buy. So I'm using a formula A and B, and these were true, so it bought. And it bought $50 or $49 worth of this position because that's how I configured it. I always buy the same amount that I already have. That's why it's 100%. And whenever there's a sale, you can see here, let's see, for example, this Ktum sale. It was DCA two times and it reached 0.9% profit. My target was 0.6, but it reached 0.9% profit. So I made one dollar seventy-five cents on this sale. I would, in three commas, I guarantee you, I would have it much less. So in this case, I was able to trail it into profit in a very nice way. Here you have some stats about it. When I armed the trailing profit, trailing stop loss, so take profit strategy, safety, all of this is here. And then if you go to stats, because I've been running this for a couple of days now, you can see how many profits I had every day, how much I spent, how much I earned. So I had a volume of 54,000, 30,000, 23,000, 24,000, 37,000. Here you can see what strategy was used to sell. 42% of the times I reach my take profit. 27% I don't and 31% I don't. I use take profit, uh, safety and trailing stop loss. I don't really care uh, as long as the gain is still very big and the results are good. This can be optimized to reach whatever value we want and this is very powerful. If you go to coin specific it goes it tells you things like the coin that gave you me the most money is dog or doge whatever you call it I had $44 in total profit of this coin, then it was ADA, I had Ethereum also, ONT, VET, ATC, XRP, SXP, LINK, NEO, and here you can also see the ones that are least profitable. The storage position was my old storage position which I sold at a loss, that's why it's so negative, negative 17. It was managed by three, three commas, it wasn't managed here, but as soon as I started it, it saw it and it tried to sell it and uh, trailing stop loss triggered. Uh, a sell at loss so that's seventeen dollars loss but you can also see for example ZRX has given me only three point five dollars in profit and you can see how many times I sold each coin so ADA 51 times dog etc and here you can see how many DCAs I have done on average as you can see the big majority of sales are done with zero DCAs it's just in and out in and out as PSAR should be and you can see more or less a distribution curve here I only had three sales that actually went to DCA 6 the majority go to 0 or 1 or 2 or th oh, sorry 2 3 or 4 and here you have average duration so uh, each average duration is 1.71 hours it is a lot uh, but it's also because I have 0 0.6 percent take profit if I had 0 0.2 probably this would be like much smaller but I'm okay with my profit so far, so I'm not going to touch this. Uh, I don't mind this as well. And meanwhile, let's see the sales. Yeah, the A, the position that we were watching, just sold for 22 cents profit. It reached 9.2, which means it did not reach my gain. What happened was it went up to 0. Uh, it went up to to 11.8. This is really un, you know, unlucky because at 12 it would reach my gain. 11.8, and then it started to drop. So because it started to drop, I triggered it. I triggered it, and it it sold for 9.2 percent instead of 12. It sold for 22 cents instead of 23 or 24. I don't mind. It's profit. And I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. It, I know it's a bit comprehensive, a lot of things to digest. And the important part is to configure the bot, install the bot, and then change the config into whatever you prefer. You can use mine as a base and then keep adapting it. 
run it in test mode for a long time until you understand what it does please don't run this with real money until you understand what it does be careful calculate your DCA steps this is very very important you calculate your DCA steps because you don't want to be caught you don't want to uh, have trouble because you configured it and it has only protection up to a certain level be very careful with your initial position calculate it as well so you don't go overextending yourself just please be safe don't go crazy I'm getting good results and I know how to get out of the bags that I get into uh, I've done it successfully for the past three months so I'm confident in my settings just uh, it's this is not a set and forget you need to keep watch watching knowing what's happening because sometimes you do need to interact with it sometimes you do need to fix things and well that's it I will leave a couple of links you know my my profit trailer affiliate code I will leave you a VPS affiliate code whatever you want to if you don't want to use it it's fine by me as long as you you know be happy and do you if you have questions I'm here on discord you know where to find me if you have any suggestions for strategies you know I'm I'm advanced in this but I'm very very newbie in this as well there are people who manage to get strategies that you know they buy at the bottom and they sell at the very very top with 900 percent gains um, I don't know how to do that yet if I find out I'll share with you uh, but at the moment I don't know and uh, good luck to everyone so this concludes the third part of the tutorial. In the next videos, I am planning to show you how to use quick alerts to quickly set up new alerts on Profit Trailer and on TradingView. This uses the add-on, single add-on that was created by Sokol and I've bought it many, many years ago. I use quick alerts because it allows me to remove the human part, the human error of creating alerts. So if anyone is looking into an easy way to, to do this, I recommend you use this. There are other tools that allow you to do similar things. I use quick alerts because that's the one I, I had bought a long time ago, like I said.